everyone. I'm Nelson Catano, publisher for Junction Comics Group and the cartoonist on the Gathering Place comic book series. I'm also a high school visual arts teacher, and I understand the difficulties that many of you face when it comes to finding resources that both inspire and challenge your students. We all want to build a classroom environment that is founded in inclusiveness and truth. We want to share stories that paint a full picture of the past so that we may better inform and prepare our students for the future. Over the years, I've struggled to find the resources needed to do this in my art class. And so, after years of working as a teacher and as an artist, doing my best to keep the work I do in the classroom separate from the work I do in my studio, I found a comfortable place for all that work to meet. That place is The Gathering Place, a comic book series collecting short stories and biographies on Canadian artists, illustrators, and storytellers. I use the comic book series I've created to fill in the missing gaps that exist in traditional art history resources. The stories found within the pages of The Gathering Place go beyond the Canadian artists that most of us are familiar with like the group of seven, Tom Thompson and Emily Carr. In The Gathering Place, we're introduced to creative spirits such as Marjorie Piggott, Daphne Ojig, Edith Hester MacDonald Brown, and Kazuo Nakamura. Most of the artists who appear within the pages of The Gathering Place do not have artwork or stories found in textbooks or in art galleries. I know, I've checked them out. The Gathering Place is filled with stories of hardship and perseverance, about artistic commitment and integrity, and about following one's dreams. Even though many traditional art history resources have been updated in recent years, they still lack a certain amount of diversity that is needed to provide a full story of the past. Over and over again, we get the same artists, the same artwork, and read the same stories. As a teacher, when I've wanted to include variety or diversity in my classroom, I had to go beyond textbooks and traditional classroom resources and research the rich stories of artists not found in our textbooks. And so The Gathering Place was born, a series that collects short stories on a diverse group of Canadian artists, illustrators, and storytellers. Each book contains four short stories, each five pages long, a quick and easy way to start a lesson or to begin a research project. The need for artistic variety and diversity in my teaching grew out of my classroom discussions with my students. Whenever the subject of art history would come up, I'd lose the attention of my students. The main reason for this was the fact that my students couldn't see themselves in the artists we talked about in class. And this was primarily due to the fact that I teach at an all girls school and our textbooks and traditional school resources were filled with artwork by old white men. How could I expect my teenage students to be inspired by all of that? So as I researched a diverse group of Canadian artists, I brought their stories into our classroom. Suddenly, my students were far more engaged in our talks about art history. They were more willing to talk about art and culture and how art can both reflect and impact our society. We study these artists' work individually. We also compare these artists' works with other works of art from the same time period. These stories open discussions as to why these artists are not remembered in our textbooks, art galleries, or museums. And we also question how history is recorded in general. Realizing the success my students were achieving by being introduced to these unique group of artists and the interest they expressed in these biographies, I knew that these stories had to be shared outside of our classroom. The stories found within the gathering place can be used as a starting point for lessons, discussions, and research assignments when looking at Canadian art history. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my story and to learn a little bit about the Gathering Place series of short stories on Canadian artists, illustrators, and storytellers. 
If you, your school, or organization are interested in any of the books in the Gathering Place series, please visit our website at www.junctioncomics.blogspot.com or visit our online store at junctioncomics.square.site to purchase any of the books in the series. You may also follow us on Instagram at junction underscore comics underscore group for updates on new and upcoming stories.